All right, so I figured we'll do another little informative breakdown video here. This is the microwave I picked up on the way to the scrapyard for the first trip, and it weighs right at 34 pounds. If you scrap that hole, you would get $2.38. Now, let's say we get rid of the tin and put the transformers on. This is, this is the main transformer and this is the electric motor for the cooling fan, which my scrapyard would consider a transformer as well. And they weigh almost 11 pounds and you'd get $1.32 for the transformers. And then the empty weight of the microwave equals up to $1.61. So your transformer price plus your disassembled price equals $2.93. And $2.93 minus $2.38 is I think a 55 cent gain versus if you just turned it in whole. Uh, it was eight screws and cut a couple wires. So if you wanna make an extra 55 cents, more power to you. Oh, and I've also heard that the, uh, the little glass plates in there, you can sell those on eBay, stuff like that, but I don't have time for that. And if you don't have time for the transformers breaking it down either, just throw the whole thing right on the truck and let it go. As if it's not flat enough already, we just gotta keep on rearing on it. Working on the second load for today. Got a couple pieces of a car I tore apart with the backhoe. Some kind of old locker, clothes locker or something. too shabby. The back half of that LeSabre went on the last load. This is the front half minus the motor. I pull those out with the backhoe motor and transmissions because they're considered number one heavy melting steel. Good. Oh, back up, man. Pull it back a little. Pull it back. couple furnaces going on now that'll be about it for this load got a couple other small bumpers and mufflers stuff like that we'll throw on by hand but probably won't make it to the scrap yard today like a second run and make it run in the morning
All right, so we're all loaded up, ready for tomorrow. We've had a little bit more than we expected. Uh, there's a HVAC company that gives me all their steel. So we swung by there and picked up what they had. Might be a pretty good load, might be 3,500 or 4,000 pounds on there, but we'll find out in the morning. All right, I got you guys bungee corded to the uh, truck bed here. Just pulled in the scrap yard, getting ready to get on a scale, unstrap and dump. So you might want to fast forward a couple minutes and then I'll probably be dumping by then.
there for you guys. I'll get right back to you with the weight. I forgot all about uh, letting you know what that last load weighed and paid. Uh, it weighed $36.20 and I got $253 for it. It was a pretty good load for a lot of free metal anyway. All right, so we're here dragging this trailer up on. We'll get a little close up of the, uh, the side that's wrecked here in a minute. But it's going on way too easy. Normally it's gonna be completely uh, ignorant to get something like this on. Looks like it got side swiped on the driver's side here. Tore both axles completely loose from the hangers. But either way, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> 